Hello everyone. There is nothing worse for wild animals than living in a confined space without the ability to move freely and communicate with other animals of their species. And while it is possible to create comfortable conditions for animals in captivity, not all zoos and circus owners care to do so. In today's video, we'll tell you stories about unhappy animals that were released after enduring terrible living conditions and the indifference of their owners for a long time. Let's get it on. Abandoned Bear Have you ever seen roadside zoos? You should know that often the living conditions of animals in these places don't meet any standards. Listen, for example, to the story of Ben, a bear who lived for six years in a tiny prison made of concrete in a small zoo in North Carolina. The animal was known as Attraction Number Two. We don't even know what to say about this level of indifference. There was basically nothing in the poor animal's cage. The bear drank stagnant water from an iron basin and washed himself in the same place. Moreover, instead of receiving a piece of meat, he was fed with leftover dog food and little treats that visitors gave him. His toys included an old bowling ball and some pieces of moldy tree. Ben had nothing to do but walk around his cell in circles for hours. Over the years, he became increasingly depressed and didn't want to communicate with humans. Fortunately, two visitors accidentally ended up at the zoo and immediately noticed the creature's terrible condition. Thanks to their efforts, the case was taken to court, and after receiving official permission, the animal's rights organization, Peter, finally moved Ben to his new home. The bear now lives in the countryside, walks on fresh grass, swims in his own pool, and sleeps on a soft bed of hay and leaves. Crying Elephant if you cried as a child over the Disney movie Dumbo, this story will definitely touch your soul. Meet Raju, an elephant who had to live a real nightmare for many years. Since his childhood and until recently, the beast lived in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh with its first and only owner. Although Hinduism commands people to treat living things with respect, Raju had to endure much humiliation from his early years. The former owner kept him tied up in studded shackles, beat him and humiliated him. The elephant had to bow every day in the street to the passers-by and survive thanks to the little treats given to him by the citizens and the garbage scattered along the way. Incredibly, this was his life for 50 years. Fortunately, in 2014, activists from a wildlife rights charity learned of Raju's story. It took them a year to release the animal from captivity because the previous owner didn't even have the animal's papers. When they finally removed the shackles from his worn legs, something incredible happened. The elephant shed tears of gratitude. Researchers say that this is a fairly natural reaction. Elephants are very intelligent animals and are capable of experiencing many emotions. Of course, it is sad to know that Raju spent most of his life without love and subjected to the cruelty of man. But the good news is that in his old age, he's received the necessary care and love from many people. Dog Family the story of this dog family would have had a tragic ending if it weren't for the employees of a local charity who managed to intervene in time. This happened in 2017 after a terrible storm in Detroit, Michigan. It was in the midst of the bad weather that a stray dog gave birth to 11 healthy puppies, but the storm kept raging, so the worried mother dug a deep hole in the wet ground and hid her pups. The problem was that the puppies couldn't come out on their own. Fortunately, a rescue team discovered the trapped animals in time. One by one, they pulled the puppies out of the ground. The rescue operation lasted about half an hour. Fortunately, all the dogs were perfectly healthy, as was their brave mother who was found nearby. After a thorough veterinary checkup, the new family was sent to a shelter where the dogs were all adopted by loving families. Ugly Ducklings any intelligent person knows that it's a very bad idea to give pets as a present to other people. Having a pet is a huge responsibility, and it's usually up to the individual to make that decision to do so. Especially if it's not a cat that likes to spend time alone and doesn't need 24-hour care, but more unusual pets. Here is a perfect example. The protagonist of this story decided to give his wife an original Valentine's Day gift. But unfortunately, it was not an exotic trip or an adventure. Adventure. Instead, the gentleman decided to give his wife two little domestic ducks, Harry and Houdini. 
But the problem was that the woman had no idea how to take care of the birds. So the charming creatures remained all day in a plastic box that no one cleaned and didn't leave the living room. In two weeks, the ducklings hadn't touched any water, nor had they seen the sky, which is vital for almost any bird. Fortunately, after this period of time, the owner realized that she couldn't accept her husband's gift and called Peter. The specialist cleaned the ducklings and finally gave them the opportunity to spread their wings freely. Later, they found new owners for the ducks, which now live on their own farm. Gorilla Family if you like movies about wildlife, you've probably heard the name of Damien Aspinall, the leading specialist on gorilla behavior in Great Britain, owner of several gorilla zoos. Damien grew up surrounded by primates, and he believes they pose no threat to people if they're treated with respect. In addition, this expert is also known for helping dozens of primates return from captivity to the wild. In recent years, he's been disappointed in the idea of zoos and keeping wild animals locked up for the entertainment of people. So, Damien visits different places around the world and reintroduces captive gorillas back into the wild. A few years ago, for example, the biologist went to the rainforests of Gabon in Africa to return a family of 10 gorillas to the wild. To adapt to a warmer climate, the animals spent a year on an isolated island. Sad Chimpanzee our next story is about J.R., an adult chimp who was brought to the United States from Africa in the 1980s. For several decades, the animal lived in several different places, but none of them fulfilled the conditions necessary for a chimpanzee's life. His enclosures were barely larger than the size of a bedroom, and there were no trees or any equipment for physical activity. It was very difficult for J.R. to survive in such conditions, and away from his own species, so much so that he even began to physically hurt himself out of desperation. But his suffering ended in 2013, when the animal was finally rescued by passionate animal rights activists. The chimp was transported to a picturesque reserve in Florida, where he finally enjoys active play, beautiful nature, and the company of his new friends. Unfortunately, the agonizing years of cruelty have had a bad impact on his heart, but now the animal is under constant supervision of specialists and takes the necessary medicines. 100 Years of Solitude Surely you know that solitary confinement is considered the cruelest punishment in any prison. It's often imposed for the most serious crimes, such as fighting with other prisoners. This is not surprising, since solitude is one of the most terrible feelings for any person. Well, in the case of animals, it's the same. Just like us, they suffer from the lack of communication with their own species and the isolation from the outside world. This charming chimpanzee named Iris knows firsthand what it means to feel completely alone in the world. For many years, her former owners kept Iris in a dirty, windowless cell the size of a closet. Iris's only connection to the world was the terrible food they gave her through a crack in a concrete wall, just like in prison. Obviously, the chimp couldn't play or do any physical activity. Iris's main entertainment was staring at the ceiling and the walls. In addition, there was no heating in the cell, so on especially cold days, the poor animal would curl up under an old blanket trying to warm herself. The animal was saved in 2015 thanks to the efforts of Peter and a generous benefactor. The exhausted chimp was finally rescued from the clutches of the owners of a Georgia Sioux and moved to a spacious nature reserve in Florida. There, she finally began a new life full of love, serenity, and fun. Iris spent three happy years in the green meadows at the picturesque park, where she even met her first love, a chimpanzee named Abdul. Unfortunately, at the age of 36, she died of heart disease, but she's remembered fondly by all the staff of the reserve and by all of you who've heard her story today. Emaciated Horse Today, the economic situation in many countries leaves much to be desired, because after several months of quarantine, many businesses stopped working. In the United States, for example, land taxes have skyrocketed, leading some farmers to abandon their plots of land and leave their animals to die. That's exactly what happened to this horse. Her former owner tied her to a tree and abandoned her. The animal spent more than a month in this condition, reaching a state of extreme exhaustion. The body of the animal was so weak that he couldn't even stand, and the ropes left deep wounds on her face. But fortunately today, her recovery is being monitored by experienced specialists. However, the horse must be fed gradually. After long weeks of hunger, the exhausted organism simply couldn't digest the nutritious food. Hold on a second. Do you want to see some crazy stories from real life? Nothing dull, only action. Only adventures, chases and fights, love confessions and sudden betrayals. 
Don't believe us? Well, follow the link and see for yourselves. Our animation channel Private Diary reveals the deepest secrets. Don't forget to subscribe.